Welcome back. I'm Pastor Cat. This is your weekly encouragement. Well, last week we talked about eternal security of a believer, what that can and does mean for you and for I, the whole world, really. Anyhow, I've been thinking about that all week long, and so we're back on that subject from a slightly different perspective. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 came to my mind, and I thought we had to share it, and that takes us a couple places, so stick with us. This should be a good ride. Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5 says, Test yourself, see if you are of the faith. Examine yourselves. Or do you not recognize this about yourselves, that Jesus Christ is in you, unless indeed you fail the test? And so I began to think about exactly what that test might mean as we think about examining ourselves to make certain that we're part of the faith and that something has not slipped, that we haven't missed a boat anywhere along the way. And I came up with a few things. Number one is, do you actually know the gospel? Death, burial, resurrection of Christ, how he made a way, how he is the justification for our sins, how when God the Father stands in judgment over us, Christ steps in between us and argues that case for us. The second test I think you have to pass is that we have to realize that each and every one of us are sinners. We have all fallen short of the glory of God. Until we realize that about ourselves and frankly about all of mankind, you never can consider yourself part of the redeemed. That is part of the salvation experience. Because of that, we have to know that we are not righteous enough to ever earn our own way into heaven. And that brings us around to our second verse, Ephesians chapter 1. Uh, we're reading just two verses, starting at verse 5. It says, He has predestined us to adoption as sons through Jesus Christ himself, according to the kind of intention of his will. Not my will, his will. To praise the glory of his grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace. I think it's that last line that kind of catches us off guard. It's according to the riches, not of my grace, but of God's grace himself, until we realize the fact that is not of our own volition and that our strength in the Father, our sonship in the Father doesn't come from us, but from the Father and the strength of his grace the riches of his grace and not ours and that's where our acceptance must flow from you also must know that christ rose from the dead not only did he live that perfect life not only was he a great teacher and a great man and someone we should truly follow but he also conquered death itself on top of all of that it's important for us to realize that our sonships make us members of the kingdom of God. That comes out of Ephesians chapter two, last verse for the day. I'll put it on the screen so you can follow. It says this, for by grace you've been saved through faith and not that of yourselves, it is the free gift of God, not as a result of works so that no one may boast. The sonship is again a free gift. So just quickly to recap, do you know the gospel? Have you accepted the fact that you're a sinner? Have you realized that your righteousness is not enough and that Christ's sacrifice on the cross was enough? If so, then you've been saved by grace, not by anything that we have done. So I encourage you this week, just like I spent my week doing, examine yourself just as Paul encourages us to do in 2 Corinthians. Well, this has been a huge blessing for me to do. I love spending time with you guys. I pray it's been as encouraging for you as it has been for me. Well, God bless. I'll see you next week.